Welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. David DeRose. We're taking your questions and we're going to Grace's question from California. Grace asks, what's the one thing we shouldn't eat in 2012? What's the one thing we should eat in 2012? Well, if you're listening to this uh, broadcast or viewing it at any time other than 2012, you might gather when this question was submitted. Well, what should we eat? What shouldn't we eat? Actually, there are some general rules of thumb. I wouldn't want to narrow anything down to one single food because nutrition is really about balance. Nutrition is about eating a variety of things. And the variety of things we want to emphasize with the research more and more is telling us is we want to eat more fruits. We want to eat more vegetables. We want to eat more in the bean family. We want to eat more nuts and seeds within moderation because the nuts and seeds have uh, quite a bit of what we call caloric density, lots of calories per volume, and many Americans uh, are already getting too many calories. But if I were to single out one food that I think is overlooked in 2012, it would be the legumes. It would be the bean family. I'm very excited about beans. I know that may sound like a strange thing to be excited about, but I see many patients who have problems with cholesterol. They have problems with their weight. They have problems with their blood sugar. Eating more beans has been shown to help all these conditions. Beans have something called leguminous fiber. Leguminous fiber helps to stabilize or steady blood sugar after a meal. So when we have patients with diabetes going through our New Start program at Weimar Center of Health and Education, we are giving them beans at every meal. Now, we don't force them to eat them. I mean, don't stay away from our program if you don't like beans. But we do recommend they eat them because it will keep their blood sugar more stable. Beans also have a lot of filling capacity without giving you lots of calories. They even prolong levels, get this, of a hormone in your blood called cholecystokinin, abbreviated CCK. I know you're just so excited about that. You say, well, who cares? Cholecystokinin actually is a hormone that helps the gallbladder release bile for digestion, but it's more than that. Cholecystokinin actually is a satiety hormone. So you eat more of this leguminous fiber, more of these beans, and it keeps you satisfied longer between meals. So if you say, well, Dr. DeRose, I eat breakfast, but it only holds me an hour or two, I can almost guarantee you that you didn't have beans with breakfast, did you? So add beans to the diet. They can be used with any meal. By the way, that's not the only thing. If you have a, uh, an allergy or just can't eat beans, of course, that's not the one thing you should be emphasizing in your diet. But it is an overlooked food, and it brings us back to that message, one that I've tried to give on this show before. Eat more of those plant foods, and you'll generally have much better health. I'm Dr. David DeRose. You've been watching or listening to Ask the Doctor. You can be a part of the dialogue. Simply send us your questions. Ask at lifeandhealth.org.